Carl and Elise share 72 pence between them. Elise has 12 pence more than Carl. How much pence do Carl and Elise each receive? Well, okay, so in this case here, let's just halve 72 pence to begin with, okay? Um, and then distribute the money like that to start with. So um, if I halve 72, okay, I get 36. Okay, so each of them will get 36 pence. Let's consider that situation to start with where we split the money up perfectly. Okay, now if you didn't know that half of 72 is 36, you could just divide, okay, to check that, okay, divide by two here. And using the bus stop method, two goes into seven three times, okay, which gives me six, so there's one left over. So I've got 12 then, two goes into 12 six times. So if I give them each 36 pence, okay, they've got the same amount, haven't they? Okay, and it does add up to 72 pence, that's okay. But it says here that Elise has 12 pence more than Carl. Okay, so clearly that situation is no good. Okay, um, so let's see about changing the distribution of this money. Let's give Elise... Um, more money, yeah, because it says Elise has got 12 pence more than Carl. So if I increase Elise's share by, say, 1 pence, 37 pence, then, of course, I've got to reduce Carl's share by 1 pence, okay, because essentially, if she's having 1 pence more, I've got to find that 1 pence from somewhere, haven't I? So I take it from Carl, okay, so he has 1 pence less. So you could keep doing that, couldn't you? You could, say, add another penny, because, you know, um, looking at the gap there, we've got Elise now having two pence more. Well, it doesn't match this, doesn't it? Okay, it doesn't match that there in terms of Elise having 12 pence more. So I could give Elise another penny, so she ends up with 38, but I've got to take a penny off Carl. Okay, 34. Now look at the gap now, Elise has got four pence more. Okay, so you can keep making those sort of steps, all right. To, to get the situation that we need. Now, if you don't want to keep increasing at least by a penny, because you can see that, that the gap isn't wide enough, you could increase it maybe by a few more pence. So sub let's suppose I increase Elise's share by two pence. So I give her 40 pence. So I'm giving her two pence more. That means I've got to take two pence away from Carl. So he ends up with 32. Now, what's the gap now? The gap is eight pence now. So we're getting closer. So let's take another two pence. Um, off Carl, so that means he has got 30 pence and give it to Elise and Elise will have 42 pence. Now look at the gap. So the gap now is 12 pence. It adds up to 72 and the gap there you can see is 12 pence, which is exactly what we want. So Carl has got 30 pence and Elise has got 42 pence.